If we're about to conclude the sensitivity analysis for linear programming using Excel solver and obtain the range of optimality and range of feasibility. This is the range of feasibility and this is the range of optimality. I'm going to show you how to obtain range of optimality, range of feasibility. I'm going to show you how to obtain those two tables using Excel solver. So let's start with the first example. So we have um, the company that's going to produce clock radio and toaster. The cost for the clock is seven dollars per unit, ten and five for radio and toaster, and the selling price is fifteen, twenty, and twelve. So the selling price minus the cost will give us a profit. For so by default, we have to maximize the profit. So the first equation will be fifteen minus seven. Fifteen selling price minus the cost times the clock plus twenty minus ten plus twelve minus five times the toaster. X one is a clock, X two is the radio, and X three is a toaster. At the same time, they, get, they told us we are not allowed, the maximum demand for the clock is 200, 300 for the radio, and 150 for the toaster. So, X1 is less or equal to 200, 300, and less or equal to 150. Uh, and um, the cost per unit for the, sorry, and the labor is two uh, hours. Uh, so, every clock it needs two hours, and every radio it needs uh, three hours and every toaster need two hours and we have maximum of 660 labor hours in a way uh, so if we do one clock one radio x2 one toaster which is x3 so we consume two plus three plus two seven hours of labor hours of a maximum of 660 okay so this is the first one let's see how this is to be done on using excel solver so by opening excel the first step i did just to write the, the name in the boxes, just to write the name of the, the boxes. So we have here the solution. I'm gonna minimize this. We have maximize the space. So we have here the maximize objective 15 minus 7, 20 minus 10, and 12 minus 15. So the objective coefficient here is 8 for the clock, radio is 10 and 7 is for the toaster okay and the solution will be placed in those boxes the total by default is equal objective times I'm gonna put dollar sign so to sorry is equal objective times plus plus sorry times plus times okay so we're gonna put a dollar sign in order to okay so we have this is the objective concerning the labor is we put the coefficient of this equation to three and 2 is less or equal to 600 concerning the clock is 1 less or equal to 200 concerning the radio 1 less or equal to 300 and concerning the toaster is 1 less or equal to 150 okay. concerning the budget of $2,000 we have the budget here of $2,000 is the maximum amount we could uh, use so it will be like seven clock plus ten radio plus five toaster as a cost less or equal to two thousand. Okay, for so the budget here is seven, ten, five for two thousand, and the rest will be like zeros. Okay, if I drag this one down, so you could see here B six times 13, C6 times 15, G6 times D13, and the same apply here. So this is would be the first step. All I have to do here is to data solver. First, this will put the real object function here, and those are 
my solution clock radio and toaster and concerning the constraint I'm gonna do this and add it we have this is by default greater or equal to zero and the second one is by default is less or equal to those volume so I'm gonna press OK and solve and then we're gonna do OK so we obtain the solution 200, 0 and 100 ok so I'm gonna we have labor, we did one mistake, the labor is 660 uh, 200, say 100, 152,000 so I'm gonna resolve it, solve ok, keep the original value so this is the solution you could see we're gonna manufacture one this three clock zero radio and 150 tungstrum for a cost of two four seventy eight dollars two thousand four hundred seventy eight dollars in order to obtain the sensitivity analysis or range of optimal range of feasibility we have to do the following so solve sensitivity and then click on ok so we have the sensitivity report as it's supposed to be but before we explain sensitivity report I'm gonna delete it for a second and we could see here there is no radio at all we have to notice here but those, those are like the toaster and the budget uh, they are binding constraints like we use all the constraints however the clock is non-binding and the labor is non-binding constraint like we only consume 657 hours and we only produce 178 hours let's see how to, to obtain the sensitivity analysis report so we need the option assume linear model and then solve sensitivity and we got the report here as it is so we have here two reports range of optimality and range of feasibility let's see what's the difference between that what do they mean precisely and work we could see here like concerning the radio solution we have clock radio r for radio t for toaster the reduced cost is minus 1.48 what does that, this value mean it means precisely like we need to reduce the coefficient of the radio objective function which is al already 10 which is the value here which is 10 or the value here okay we need to reduce it we need to reduce it by an amount of minus 1.43 so it's we need to add it by an amount of minus 143 so here the allowable increase for the radio is between 1.43 on top of the 10 and infinite value so the solution are it could vary between infinite minus infinite and the allowable increase 11.42 well 1.42 plus 10 and the same applies here we have allowable increase allowable decrease okay on both of them okay concerning the sensitivity the range of the range of feasibility as I said before we have the labor and the clock they are both uh, and sorry and the radio they are both uh, non-binding solutions so the sensitivity will be performed only on the binding constraint which has the toaster and the budget as you can see here the toaster and the budget they are binding because you used all the constraint so the shadow price it means directly relative change in the objective function value for one increase in the right hand side constraint of the solution so increase instead of the toaster we're using where demand is 100 if we add this value by one or we decrease by one the shadow price is the amount the profit or the objective function will change either increasing or decreasing depend if we add or decrease so the shadow price is the general change of the objective function value for one unit increase in the right hand side of the constraint okay one unit increase right hand side of the constraint as the same like the maximum increase we achieve here and we obtain some difference in the result for the toaster like the right hand side constraint is 150 so we could go up to 155 and down to 120 minimum if we do go more than this the solution will be unfeasible for the budget it will be 2010 2000 minus 1250 so it will be 750 so the solution will be all the range between 750 and 2010 okay thank you